and thank you tuning in. I am currently in San Diego, California right now, about to wash Rexy, short for Rex T.I. <laughs> She's a little bit dirty. We got a dyno day today. We're gonna tune her on 91 and then also E85 on this EJ207 shipped overnight from Japan. You guys, this 207 comes at factory with forged internals. This is the holy grail of Subaru engines, so I am so excited to see what we put down as a baseline on the dyno. I'm excited too. You look excited. Kevin said 375, Sean is saying 376, I'm saying 385. I know stock on 91, these will do 400, but you guys, let's not try and blow a fourth engine. enough. What'd you get? Oh my goodness. So the Rex TI keeps dying on me. I'm sitting at the gas station right now after I fill it up to see where exactly the needle's going to stop on the gauge. The guys over at Delicious Tuning wanted me to come in with a little bit less of half of a tank of 91, but the car just died. I think I need a little bit more gas and we need to go. That's slightly above a quarter tank. That should be enough. Yeah, it sounds like a Subi again, huh? A little bit. It's sounds better in there, though. <laughs> yeah, it will. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I see the tuner's back. I should get out of there. <laughs> I might over-tune everything to put as much boost through it as possible. You'll probably make more power. I'm fine with that. <laughs> <laughs> I may blow a few engines. We may tarnish the delicious tuning name at the end of the day. You can file for bankruptcy, vacation in Hawaii. Just blame it on you. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> the company may have a different name because we've been sued a couple times, but it'll be fine. We're talking about Chick-fil-A right now, and I asked Nazar here if he had tried the mac and cheese, and you just one-upped me, and I didn't even think about doing what you just told me. So you gotta get the ch uh, chicken sandwich, mac and cheese, put the mac and cheese on the chicken sandwich oh. with some buffalo sauce. Oh god. Fire. Please sponsor me. I know what we're having for lunch today. <laughs> I'll go a second time. Free refill? <laughs> Does that work for the sandwich too? Just bring the sandwich thing back? I'll bring the bag. It's yeah. Fine. Free refills, right? Go for it. Oh, first try. Oh, it, I turned it, it off. Oh. <laughs> you fooled me because that's been happening all day. <laughs> oh, she's not a happy girl right now. Come on, Rexy. If you guys have a Subaru or a Porsche, Delicious Tuning is the only place I will take my Subaru. You guys, they are experts. They are great at what they do, and you don't have to be in San Diego, California. They do remote tuning as well. Highly, highly recommended. So off the bat, bad news bears. It's not so bad news, but we're not getting a reading from the wide band. And while I was doing the brakes yesterday, the guys were trying to tinker with a check engine light we were getting. We thought everything was good. Sean says that we had a wide band reading yesterday, but we don't have it now. The O2 sensor looks like it's plugged in. So we were working on that. And Nazari says, you want to see something cool? I'm like, yeah. So all the burnouts here that everyone sees, everyone thinks it's us. We don't own a single rear wheel drive car. They're all four wheel drive. <laughs> it's actually well, look these at guys. Really? And that was TJ, by the way. Thanks, TJ. <laughs> that was TJ. TJ Hunt. Yep, he's still here. <laughs> Lives in spirit. <laughs> these guys right here are old school muscle guys. They think all. No. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, that's one of them. <laughs> And they drop these insane motors into these old school cars that do all this. Really? So we're gonna go visit them. See what's up. <laughs> I don't know those guys, but I like those guys. They seem cool. They're headed out to lunch right now, so we'll check out the shop a little later. I wanna get the Subaru on the dyno rolling, so let's go figure out what is going on and how we can fix it. Push the wheel. Yeah. Just rotate them. Bro, I keep talking about doing like a Flintstone quarter mile. We could just do like a Flintstone dyno pull. <laughs> uh, we're thinking of doing little RC cars on it. Each oh, seeing if like we it. can generate. Bill said a uh, human would generate more horsepower, so I think we can do something about yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm willing to try both ways here. I got about half a horsepower in these legs. <laughs> we 
can hold Sean up like this for aerodynamics. He'll be our wing. I like out of all the people you pick, you pick Sean for aerodynamics. Are you saying something? <laughs> no, are you flying something? Yes. <laughs> How's it looking? Really bad. Great. Yeah. Try restarting it like an iPhone. How do you do that? Throw it on a garbage <laughs> tube or something? <laughs> Throw it off a cliff. Yeah, exactly. Oh, it's working. Now yeah, it stopped. Oh, now it stopped. That's really weird. Every time I unplug it and then plug it back in, it starts working again. We can't figure out why we're not getting a reading from the wideband. Still have to look at it another day. We tried swapping the sensor. We tried regretting the engine. We tried a few things and we'll just come back to it at a later time. The wideband's reading. <gasps> what? <laughs> Why is it reading now? I don't know. Maybe I kicked it really hard. Yeah, you kicked it over there, yeah. John, My band's working now. It's working. It's what? reading. Now it's working for some reason. Oh, great. Just drive it hard and then it'll work. Yeah. Yeah. Give it a few kicks. Just kick it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Get back to work. So, uh, about those pops and bangs. <laughs> I have a cat, and soon we'll have had a cat. <laughs> <laughs> Still pops pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Even with two cats in there. If I ever got pulled over, it's completely legal. I don't know, officer. I don't know. It's got the cats and stock exhaust. I'm bad at this way. Alright, here's the base pull. Let's see what numbers we're working with on 91. right now but we just started more boost dude this revs to eight grand yeah hell yeah i can eight. hear it it sounds sick yeah oh. eight grand on a turbo that's yeah. like my car a little bit mine does 83. is it really yeah now we can make this do 82. all right let's do it <laughs> i feel bad for you boss i know you got to deal with our amazing new tuner here i know <laughs> i have to give everything i know to her which she Eagle seems to boss. know so much already that way i, I can know. bankrupt the company when you guys go to hawaii exactly. okay yeah sure <laughs> you guys want to tune the uh, e-delicious is the new name. <laughs> I got you can be my boss. marketing Cheers. media. Thank you. Marketing comedian. That'll be my title. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Delicious E. This is the marketing comedian. How may I make you jokes? Hi, yeah, I want you to tell me how to make my Subaru faster. Uh, drive it off a cliff. That's a funny one. All oh, the horsepower! Keep in mind, on the last one on 91, we had a 
a catless downpipe. That makes a big difference. So let's try and blow them out while we're here so we can get that extra purpose power. <laughs> so uh, I traded Delicious here Subaru for this. Sorry. I mean, this is a supercharged BRZ, about 350 horsepower. So it is technically faster than my car. And it runs. And it's rear-wheel drive. Ooh, it was a good trade. Yeah, I'd say so. Good job. Thanks. <laughs> you break it, you buy it. I'm not gonna dump the clutch in my car. Dump the clutch. How strong are the axles in these things? Uh, 300 horsepower. And we're doing 350. Like Seems flight. safe. I'll do it. Like <laughs> <laughs> that was cute. One wheel peel. Yeah. <laughs> We've all been to high school. <laughs> also, something to keep in mind: cats and down by beside you guys. We were running a completely different turbo. We were running the twin scroll, so the power comes in a lot sooner than the stock VF30 that I have now. The cool thing is though, it revs for so much longer. What Bill's gonna try and do is steady out the power throughout the rest of the 1500 power band that we have. But I'm a girl and I'm supposed to get back in the kitchen, so I'm just gonna mosey on over there because I don't really know anything about cars. <laughs> Again, we're back with the dangerous stuff. All right, practice sessions. We gotta get you warmed up for next year's FD season. <laughs> Row one, baby, here I come. I honestly think it'd be hysterical if there's a full drift league just for these things. Hey, if there isn't, there should be. All right. Let's see if you got those figure eights down. Oh. I feel like this is a little bit smaller for me. God, dude, you're getting good at driving backwards. All right, I'm bored. Oh, and that's a wrap. I gotta go back to fit. I bet you're not gonna make it over that curb. Oh, she made it. So Bill literally just got out of the Subaru, said needs more power and walked away. <laughs> He's going to get some more flex fuel or something. The 85, whatever. Power adder, whatever that is. Nitrous. More power. More power. I'll be back. Wait, 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 hang on. When you said needs more power, I didn't realize you were talking about the computer. I thought yeah. you were talking about the car. Well, that too. <laughs> That's hysterical. I was like, why is he coming back to the computer charger? I didn't even come back to the power. nitrous bottle. I do have one idea. Bill, humor me on this. We have another turbo in the back. I think we should just put another turbo on. I think that'll add more power. Yeah, twin? Yeah, let's go twins. It only takes another like 20, 30 minutes, right? Yeah, yeah, we'll just throw it in. It's literally right here. I'll go grab it. Okay. We go twin turbo. What do you think? We'll just put it on the other side and do it. Pop the hood. How do you activate it? It's always active. <laughs> There's a little bit of smoke coming out the exhaust there. It smells like we just burned a cat. Yeah, it smells like popcorn. Yeah. <laughs> That's no a toasted cat. Yet. Definitely no cat anymore. That's yeah. gone. When he said more power, he was planning on just getting rid of the cat yeah. manually. Let's try that one more time. Oh my god. Okay, you guys. So we got pops and bangs. We got control. I think we're ready for some E85 now. You're so it smells boring. like fireworks. That's your cat coming out the back right now. <laughs> I know. That's the best part. So I'll be back next week with the fifth engine. Hey, more pops. <laughs> just leave one here. Yeah. So you just like come in and swap them out. And Do it again! <laughs> it's gone. The guys are really checking right now to see whether or not the spare axle they have laying around will work for Rexy for when I launch and break them in a second here. Yeah. Do you also tune the cars from Gymkhana? Yeah, for Gymkhana 1, Gymkhana 2. You know, Ken Block, when he did Subaru, yeah. which probably most people don't remember. <laughs> but when we did Gymkhana 2, he wanted some anti-lag. So we're like, okay. We basically gave you that anti-lag. 
Yeah. <laughs> Look, babe, I got Ken Block's anti leg now. All right, so here's the other thing. If you blow your axles on launch, you can just drive home on the other axles and still work, right? Make it a front wheel drive, yeah. Subaru. I don't think that's gonna happen, but I want to hope that that would still work. I just want to hope that no axle's gonna break when I launch it. You're good. He's got one. one. <laughs> We're gonna put some E85 in Rexy right now. Every time I see these straps, I keep thinking it's an off-white though. That's so bad. You live in LA for too long, dude. <laughs> blocking the exhaust flow a little bit but that also made a huge difference in just doing the catalyst downpipe there's a lot of room to grow i'm excited for this let's go launch this has a new name. Should we start taking bets again as how long it lasts? No. Did I say a month on the last one? But I said trans. You but did I said say a month. trans. But I said a month. Now I'm saying axles are diff. Well, let's find out what goes first right now. That's so good. Look at that smile. Yeah, I, like that. <laughs> I like it too. Oh, holy <laughs> What the actual <laughs> That was sick. That was amazing. Nice work. Well the nice work. Well nice work. The sticky tires will break those axles for sure. Yeah. Oh, for sure. That left That's, real fast. Yeah. Do it again. Good job. See what your zero to sixties are now. Fast. That was really quick. So if I ever need to rob a bank. So the neighbors saw me peeling out in the Subaru doing launch control. One of them walks around and goes, let me show you how it's done. Little do they know, the Subaru is the slowest car I own. And it's all wheel drive. Let's have some fun, shall we? If I had the S14 here, I would f it up. That's definitely true. No one would be allowed to do this again. That's definitely true. <laughs> you guys would definitely be in trouble by yeah. the city. I believe the fifth. Oh, what is it? Let's oh. see what... Oh, roast them! Light them up! Friday every week. <laughs> Look at this. Oh man. That was the greatest thing ever. Now we should ask what's in it. It sounds like an LS. Big block? That's a six liter out of a Cadillac Escalade. Iron block? Uh, Round two. that smell that smell of burnt tires and here we are here at the end of the night you guys always a pleasure right. never Thank a you. chore of course anytime always to help. a pleasure it's definitely Whoop. it's definitely still quick oh my god did you rev it out all the way to eight yeah it definitely is quick that's fast 
has. It's a, such a smooth power band. It's different. I don't feel the pull of the turbo, but like it feels like it doesn't want to. Yeah, okay. I want to see the launch. I think we need more power. All right, so just more power then. You know, I didn't want to mod this. We'll end it on this note. I think we might have to go bigger turbo. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Delicious tuning is the name of the game. Sorry, I just had to do that. They do do <laughs> remote tuning. <laughs> I said doo-doo. I'm tired. E-Crew, thank you for watching. Support the channel. Support the builds. Support your homegirl. Shop down AmeliaHartford.com. There we go. There we go. Look at that. I haven't ruined it yet. No, pretty good. Until the next one. What's the next one? Oh, we have a good one for the next one with Mimi. <laughs> Stay tuned. E-Crew, we out here <laughs> with love. Bye! <laughs>